Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman again, MMAforSelfDefense.com, Dan the Wolfman .com. Answering one of the questions, uh, one of the guys threw to me on the underground forum, MixedMartialArts.com, someone on the UG said, Yo Dan, what about the uppercut being used in MMA? I don't use it that much, I've landed it twice in fights, um, and using sparring sometimes. But I'm going to show three basic ways I use, or four basic ways actually, that I'll use a 4-3-2 combination. Rear uppercut, left hook, right straight. The four in a lot of people's numbering system isn't the uppercut, that's just my simplified system. Okay, so I'll show how to use the four for two. Against some good, um, like, boxer, kickboxer types, I'll end up in the sideways boxing position a lot. Against guys who don't clinch, there's this guy Angelo I spar with, or Angel, I'm sorry, Angel um, B that I spar with, that's a WCL World Combat Link uh, pro kickboxer. We end up here a lot, and I, I throw the four three two off of that all the time. So if we end up sideways, Okay, if we end up kind of in this position here, sometimes like a boxer's guard, okay, my shoulder's up, my other hand's up to protect, you kind of up with the guy. Sometimes I'll bump him with my shoulder and my elbow, okay, here, and then four, three, two. Ready, fast? And I'm MMA, it's more common you're in the over-under position. So from here you're doing your knee strikes, your shoulder pops and all that, so overhand elbows of course still work, vacant space against the cage, right elbow. But a lot of times, like in the corner, uh, I'll shoulder bump the guy here and then, and then four through two. So here. Okay? So that's a really good way, very common way to have a bet. You can use the uppercut. If you guys, a guy that uses the Muay Thai close guard like Alistair Overeem is making famous K1 champion and strike force heavyweight champion, um, you should check it, their right hand with your jab first. Keep their right hand out of play. A lot of guys in the UFC getting away with that rear uppercut again, and uh, they're getting away with it. But if the guy throws overhand right, the right hook, I think that's how. I think Liddell went for either a right low body hook or a right rear uppercut. Either way, you're leaning down. Rampage just countered him. To keep that from happening, guys, you should start putting up here. Right here, you should start checking his hand by throwing the jet. Remember, shell just do the shell. The guy's shelled up. Check that hand first, and then slip this through the middle. Shell up. Okay, good. Okay, keep this hand in play, out in play first. If I just do this, and he throws his right hand, whoa. That's the rampage that I'll knock Okay, here, if you're out, out range and he's shelled up, check this first with your jab. Two, then slip this up the middle. Four, three, two. All right? On the pad, just one, four, three, two. Ready? Okay, and then, um, let's see, from the side, over under, oh, from the overhand right, you know, a guy throws that baseball punch, a big overhand right, Kyle Friesian, man, the Amerian, overhand, nasty death punch, you know, just in here, you guys do this and bend over far, against that, I do a kind of scared natural reaction cover, like a lot of the combative guys teach, and I step my right foot out, so I do a cover, high cover, and I step my right leg back to relieve the energy and create a nice angle on the rooftop. Um, just go ahead and throw it. I step out here. Yeah. So now do fast and you're ready to hold. So if a guy throws that overhand, this is one thing you can do against it. Push it, you still gotta watch open that single leg. You know, the takedown attempt afterwards, you're ready to fall. But he might be open for that uppercut. So, so throw this and then pull. pull. Right. Okay, get the idea? Okay. Alright, <laughs> All right, so step out the frame. Step out and cover frame, and I'm loaded for this nasty uppercut from hell. One, three, two. Grab cut left to right straight. That's the way you can use it very commonly. And I'm a man. Hope that helps. Guys out there in the underground, keep sending me your questions. Dan the Wolfman out. Thanks.